एवरी वन वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई डेली डायरी आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू बी मोर ऑर्गेनाइज मोर फोकस्ड इन योर लाइफ सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर फाइव टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स विच विल हेल्प यू टू बिकम यू नो मोर फोकस्ड मोर ऑर्गेनाइज इट वॉट एवर यू डू एंड देन दे आर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव योर वर्क फ्लो एज वेल दीज फाइव हैबिट्स विल हेल्प यू टू बिकम मोर ऑर्गेनाइज मोर फोकस्ड and more productive in your life well when i talk about productivity it is not always about doing more and more it is about making more use of your time to be productive and to you know stay efficient and to be more focused and organized you have to build a system you have to you know uh, get out of your comfort zone make a plan and you know do things according to the plan so today i will be talking about how to build a plan how to you know build a system where you can be more focused and efficient also if you are new here please do subscribe to the channel for some more such videos about you know mindful lifestyle personal growth and personal well being first step is to give yourself some space to get organized you cannot just finish this video and go back to your whatever you do and start uh, you know building a system you cannot do that you have to give yourself some space to build any consistent habit to you know build a system you have to give yourself some time give yourself some space to collect your thoughts to organize your thoughts and then only you can implement those things in your life we cannot expect ourselves to be always ready to take action we have to you know make a proper plan organize things and then only we can implement we have to slow down to you know organize ourselves organize our surrounding for example if you are just going to get on a table and start working and there are 100 things on the table you cannot just start working you have to organize things you have to you know think first where should i put one a, uh, like object a where should i put object two and according to that you are going to organize the table and then you are you, you will be working same goes in your life and same goes to the things which you are planning to do you have to you know think about it you have to organize your thoughts you have to make a plan and then you have to implement the plan to get the results make sure that you are giving some time to yourself to review things and then you you are planning uh, to you know move ahead in your life like i always mention in my videos first step to change anything in your life is to be con- is to be aware what is happening around you for example uh, if i am being inconsistent about something if i'm not organized i have to think about it what are the things i'm doing wrong and then according to that i am going to collect my thoughts i'm going to plan and implement those things in my life for example for me i have a big problem of getting up uh, early in the morning i mean i cannot get up uh, every single day at one time if i have to go to office i get up at 6 if i have to, if i work from home sometimes i get up at 7 sometimes 8 or sometimes 9 also which is not a good thing i mean you, you have i have to build a system to you know in the morning to get up at one time to you know finish my morning things i mean one day if i am doing 100 things in the morning by getting getting up at 6 o'clock and another day, another day i am getting up at 9 o'clock and doing nothing it, this is not going to work i have to be consistent with whatever whatever i'm doing for example let's say if i am getting up every day at 8 o'clock that is a good thing because you know i have a system where i am getting up at one time i am doing whatever i'm supposed to do in the morning so same goes in your life also so this is just an example there are a lot of things which you do on your you know day to day basis which sometimes you do sometimes you miss it so make sure that you are giving yourself at some time some space to organize those things and then you know get back on the track second step is to keep things out of your head we are human beings we cannot you know we think thousands of thoughts every single minute or day you cannot expect yourself to remember every single thing you have to write things down you have to get things out of your head to you know grab new things and that is how it works that is how you know your whole uh, system works like when you cannot expect to put everything in your head and you expect yourself to remember you have to keep things out of your head to you know make yourself some space for new thoughts like i said we cannot remember every single thing so you have to write them somewhere so that whenever you need them you have the information 
for example i am the kind of person uh, who like to write things down i mean i have my own whatsapp group i mean i created a group with somebody and then i removed them and now have my personal whatsapp group i have one for my work and i have one for my personal life and i you know tend to send things in the same in the group like passwords or photos or documents anything which i have so that i won't go somewhere else and search them i can just directly search them from the uh, group itself so this is how i like to keep things this is a one way uh, another thing you can do you have like every phone has you know notepad or notebook in their phone where they can write things down so practice a habit of writing things down whether they are in your notes whether they are in your phone laptop or in your diary another example is like whenever i'm shooting a video i cannot expect myself to remember every single thing i mean i do speak my mind but i need some kind of information some kind of point pointers to start a topic or to end a topic and that is why i write things down in my diary i have my diary with me all the time whenever i'm shooting a video i write pointers it's like i cannot you know spend a lot of time writing them in sentences and i don't think i would need them because whenever i'm speaking i get into the zone and i start speaking my mind and sometimes i forget whatever i'm talking like now so i try to you know write things down in my diary i write pointers in my diary so whenever i'm speaking i have the information to you know i refer to and i think it goes to everybody like whether you're a student whether you are uh, you know working or whether you are at home uh, you know preparing for an exam or anything you have to you know make a notes you have to keep things out of your head you have to organize things in your notebook or phone or laptop to you know whenever you need the information you can just go back to the same so make sure you brain dump whatever is there in your mind one more example at work i have created an excel sheet to you know keep a track of whatever the work i have done or whatever the work i have to do like my to do list and obviously like we have to report our time so i have a separate tracker for you know reporting my time where i just i have created those things on my own i mean there is an application which we have to fill on the friday but for my whole week i cannot remember every single thing like whatever i have done so i write down the specific task whatever i have done then i write down the like number of hours i have spent so this is how i keep a track at work whatever task i have performed whatever i'm supposed to do to do list every single thing is there and uh, that brings me to the next topic which is build a system like i said i have built a system i have built an excel sheet for myself where i keep a track of every single thing whatever i do at work and i am thinking to do the same for my youtube as well because obviously i'm like being consistent with my youtube and for that reason i have to you know uh, write down topics i have to write down pointers i have to make sure when i'm shooting when i'm you know editing the video when i'm um, like uploading the video so and what are the mistakes i am making and how i am improving so this is how you can build a system for yourself for your studies for your work for your personal life uh, for exp- for your expenses as well i mean like money is a very important thing so you have to organize it as well i mean i do organize i take some I take out some cash in the beginning of the month so that i have some savings because i i, I feel like upi doesn't let us save money so i mean that is how you can do uh, or you can organize your things i mean it's up to you whatever is there whatever is important for you you have to build a system for it you have to organize things you have to uh, you know uh, be consistent with the system i am comfortable with every single thing so i use my phone i use excel excel sheet there are so many applications which you can use um i have not used them but yeah you can use if you know and then you have your diary you have notepad you can use all these things to you know put your thoughts write write them down to make your to do list and to you know implement those things in your life fourth step is to do those things which are more important to you like i mentioned earlier you have 100 things you cannot do 100 things in one day you cannot do more and more one day and next day you are feeling a burnout so you have to you know prioritize you have you have to make sure whatever is important for you you are doing that 
whether you are working whether you are studying or whatever you are doing you can prioritize what is important for you what are the tasks which are you know essential for you and then you can keep things aside which are less important and you can them you can do them next day so make sure you uh, you know filter everything you if you have 10 things you filter every single thing and you know prioritize what is important for you and do the same fifth and last is plan your day no matter you are doing it in the morning if you are a morning person or no matter if you are doing it at night i mean i usually do it at night because it is more comfortable for me so uh, choose whatever the time you have whenever you are comfortable to you know plan your day you can just make a list of whatever are the things you want to do in the um, in the morning so make sure you are planning your day this is another way to stay organized and stay focused because you have uh, like everything in your list you know what are the things i have to do um obviously life is unpredictable days are unpredictable you cannot you you, you cannot expect uh, the same thing to you know happen like 100% on the next morning so there are things which will be left there are things which will be you know new to you so if you have like 50% of the things planned if thing 50% of the things are going according to your plan uh, your your day is going to be organized at least 50% it is going to be organized so this is how you take small small steps to you know build a system uh, stay organized stay focused and it cannot happen just in one day you have to give yourself some time like to for me to change the habit of getting up early in the morning or getting up at one time is going to take a take some time it, it is going to take some a month or something to you know get back on track my purpose to shoot this kind of video is to remind you to be on the track to remind you to you know be mindful about your life be mindful about your lifestyle not that you don't know obviously these are like very basic things and you already know but like i said reminders are very important like we tend to forget these things in our day to day life so we have uh, to you know get some reminders from some source so that we can be very mindful about the situation we can mindful we can be mindful about the life and we can be mindful about the things we do in our life so thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this video also let me know in the comment section whatever topics you have and whatever topics you want me to discuss in the next video if you really liked it do share with your friends give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching